Hey guys, today we're going to be building a spray booth. Now actually I did buy one before but once I got it and unpacked it I didn't really like it that much so I decided I'll just build my own. I went to a hardware store and a couple other shops and found everything that I need so let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we need is a large plastic tub. Now this is probably a little bit larger than you really need but I just wanted to make sure that mine was nice and big so there's that. Second thing you need is an exhaust fan. Now, if you guys follow me on Facebook, I posted a picture of the supplies that I bought already before, but uh, that supply, that exhaust fan that I bought it was actually too small, not powerful enough, so I changed that for this larger one. Next thing we need is range hood filter. Actually, just what this is, this is just a filter kind of paper for any sort of exhaust fan. Next, we need a hose to channel the air out the window. So this is a JL Spyro flexible hose, basically. Just looks like this, and you can pull it out like that. And the last thing you need is an LED light. Actually, this is uh, not something you need, this is just optional. And because I don't have a light in that space over there where my spray booth is gonna go, this was kind of necessary. Now, this is going to fit. Of course, this would be the this is the bottom, but just for an example, you can see that that uh, LED light is going to fit just like that. It's actually going to be going up here, to the top, just up there like that. And this has some kind of mounting brackets in there, so we can just mount that to the top inside of here. It's going to be really good. So everything's going to be pretty straightforward, but if you'll notice, there's a slight problem here in that the back of the fan is uh, something like 200 millimeters wide or 250 and this hose is 100 millimeters wide so it's not exactly going to plug onto there. So what we need to do is to build some sort of adapter here between them. That was the only problem with getting this fan was that they didn't have any sort of adapter piece for me. So I just said, well, okay, I'll just build it. and." Uh, the man at the shop kind of laughed. He didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but I'm going to show him I'm going to do it. So here's what I've got. Uh, what I think we can use I'm going to use this plastic bottle uh, just to serve as some kind of inner support, and then just some plastic wrap, and then just tape, 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 tape. Duct tape, this is green, but it's duct tape. If you're in the States, in America, it's usually silver. Uh, same thing. So we'll just kind of have to get a rig, some attachment here between the two. I'll give it a try. Okay, now before I attach the hose though, I want to set the fan into the uh, box. So basically I need to cut out a circular hole in the plastic there so that this is going to fit in and then like this part will be on the front so uh, what we're going to do is just set that in here like this or put the fan underneath and this on top I've got a marker here Okay, so I've got the cutout shape trace there. It doesn't have to really be totally perfect because uh, there is an edge, the square edge around there. We'll just cover that up. So then we're just going to take our knife 
and try to cut that out. The problem is this is pretty thick plastic so hopefully this is going to work. If this knife is not doing the job because it is quite thin I'm not sure if it's going to be able to cut through very well. If it's not doing the job I might try heating the knife uh, and then just uh, kind of using it as a heated knife. I don't know, we'll see. Let's, let's try it out. Well, finally, what I did was just use my uh, power drill and just drill the holes all around there and just punched it out and did some extra drilling adjusting there. And then I drilled a hole in the side here for the cord to come out. And then a couple holes here on the bottom. You can see that. And then on the front. So our fan can go in well, first we need to feed this pull string through the bottom the fan just fits in like this and pull the cord out the side that can be plugged in in this bottom part here the pull string out the front so that turn on and off I can just pull that and let's push this in all the way there we go and then this does have some screw holes here uh, so I'll put some screws in that to make sure it's extra secure in there and then that's it let's Let's test it out. Here goes the test. Alright, so the fan is screwed into there. I'm going to use this piece of a big water bottle to connect the back of here to here. Now you can see this part fits nicely inside there. Just to make sure that's extra tight, I'm going to use this uh, steel, um, what's it called, band anyway. It's going to go around there and just tighten that up. But of course I can't make it too tight because then it's just going to be just crushing the water bottle. But I'll make it pretty tight and then just wrap some duct tape around there as well just to make sure it's extra secure. Now. Uh, putting this on here obviously is not going to really help us very much, so I'm just gonna cut some holes in here, this part, and basically this uh, will just serve as like a support between the fan and the hose. And then I'll take some of this plastic wrap here, just some of this plastic, and then tape it around the outside to cover it up, so then the air will be funneled uh, into here and should be all good. So what I'm going to do is just do something like this. Okay. I'm gonna cut some holes like this. Something like that. And I'll just go ahead and cut those out. Thank you. 
Alright, so I've got a setup here on the table in the back veranda. There's where I'm usually filming. And this place is still pretty messy, so still getting everything worked out, but a load of duct tape on there later. And I've just got it supported uh, with this just scrap piece of 2x2 two two wood there to just support the fan because the fan made it back heavy so it's kind of falling back. That just scrap piece of wood will do. We're ready to test it out. The fan is going. And the bag part looks inflated so that means there's air is going through. I'm not feeling any air coming out around any of the sides. Down underneath in the hose, I can feel the air coming out of there. So we're all good. So that's pretty much it. Now I need to stick on the LED uh, light up on the top and we'll pretty much be done. The spray booth is almost finished. Alright, so the LED light is installed there. Uh, had to get those tiny screws through the plastic. I had to use my pin vise to put a hole in there first to get that screw through. It was very tricky. But anyway, got that through and then also drilled another hole there in the side of the tub so the wire could run out there. And then just have to touch a little button there. So it actually has three different uh, intensity settings. So here's low, medium, Hey, pretty cool, it's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing that I still need to do is because it does still slip forward a little bit like that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just take a piece of cardboard and just uh, glue it down to this table because this table is actually just like trash. Actually, it was from my old apartment but uh, it was gonna be thrown away when I moved. It actually belonged to my school but uh, I said I'll take it and use it. They said, okay, when you're through with it, just throw it away. So, just probably super glue a piece of cardboard or another cheap cutting mat or something onto uh, this table. And that'll keep this from sliding forward. It'll keep it in a solid position there. And uh, then maybe a couple other adjustments. Uh, obviously, I need to put the paper in front of there. Here's that. The uh, paper. I'm wondering if that's a little bit too thick. Uh, I'm gonna have to try it. Maybe check with some other people of their own opinion. But and then I need the like the cardboard. Um, I think I'm just gonna order some of those like ones that, that are from Mr. Hobby to just place in front of there as well. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and because these kind of sharp screws are sticking out the top too, might just lay a couple of strips of cardboard or something on top of those as well to. Uh, to cover those up so those aren't pointy. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the spray booth. It all costs for right around $100, but again, like 40 of that was just for the LED light. So uh, if you don't need a LED light, about 60 bucks, then totally for that, pretty good. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions about building a spray booth for yourself, uh, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer that, but I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.